All right, I think oh. we're good. Finally, we're recording. All right, so this is the Team Tenacity team call, and this is a monthly game plan and, and free, and we were gonna do free group tips, but we're gonna share that in a document um, instead of on tonight's team call, and I forgot to change that, but no worries, we're gonna go over this. Um, we had 19 new coaches in March so far, just on our team. Amazing growth. Like, yeah. Woohoo! Yay! Right? We also had 55, actually it's 56, 56 new coaches since January 1st in Team Tenacity. That's like, like that's wow. like a break, like a record-breaking amount of people being added. So it's really cool to see that growth, and that just means that um, we're having more positive, faith-filled women out there making a difference in the people, other people's lives. So I'm really excited about that. Awesome. Um, Yes, and then I wanted to give some shout outs this um, evening. Jennifer has 14 success club points. Actually, her husband has four and she has 14, but I know she did all the work, so I gave her all the points. <laughs> <laughs> so that means that, you know, she's helped seven people this month. Hannah has helped four people. She's at success club eight. Uh, Mary has helped three people. She's at six. Elena is at six. That's three people. Cynthia Flores is at six. I'm at six. You can't see it, but it's there. Um, Melissa Marks is at two. Amanda Huff is at two. Jill is at two. Eunice is at two. Eunice is a brand new coach. That's her first coach that she's added. Um, and her new coach is Mary. No, wait, that's not right. Mary E is a new coach and she has two points. Now I'm trying to remember who she's attached to. Can't remember. <laughs> I have her there twice. And then Felicia is Hannah's mom, and she has two points. So um, I have six points. You're there. You were there. Where's your name at? I don't I know. You. I had you. Look at this. Watch. <laughs> let me see if it'll let me add it. You. I was like, hello. I have six. I know. You should have been up there too. Here. Team mom. <laughs> Six. See, this is how I made it earlier. Now you guys know how to use Canva. I'm just teaching you how to use Canva. <laughs> there you go. All right. I knew you did. I had you written down on my big list over here. I'm sorry, Mama. <laughs> I'm All right. Success stories. I just want to start doing this on our team calls. So I had asked in the event if anybody had any, anything that they wanted to shout out. Um, like Eunice being a new coach and having her first, adding her new, her first coach. That's, that's really big, huge. It's a big, huge deal. And I have not been really good at n recognizing it. I see it and I might privately say that's awesome. Congratulations. But to just really recognize on a team call like this would be way more beneficial um, for everyone to know what other people are doing in our team. Because sometimes we feel like we're just all alone right? It's just me just plugging along. And there's other people out there that are struggling and making their first sale and making their, you know, hearing no 10 times like you are hearing no and, and finally getting those yeses. So it's exciting. Um, Mary has lowered her A1C and is no longer a diabetic. Woo! Woo! So she is an actual coach. And these success stories, I want to be coach success stories and I know we have our challengers and I want to start recognizing them differently too and we're going to talk about that tonight but on here I really want to um, recognize coaches and Hannah I was just telling my mom before we started recording she has her own group chat that is amazing like she is they are so engaged she keeps them engaged she's like hey this week you better take your pictures I need to see pictures she's like a go-getter <laughs> coach she's like She's a tough cookie, and so it's really cool to see her not only hit Success Club um, and just go for it. Like, she has no clue what she's doing. She'll tell you. She's like, I don't want to be in any trainings. This is easy. I got this. Like, if I have to add that, then I don't have time for that. I'm like, hey, you don't have to do any trainings. But she is going to help us run our next challenge group. She's going to be posting tomorrow as our first day. So just, you know, when she posts, just – you know, make sure that we are going to talk about that too, but really engage and, and congratulate, <coughs> congratulate her for stepping up outside of her comfort zone and actually helping us run a group like this because she's a brand spanking new coach. She had a lot of, a lot of health issues like my mom did and she just jumped in and she, she was like two seconds from canceling her Shakeology. And I was like, you can't, 
you can't because you're in a 12 week commitment. <laughs> she's like, Oh, okay. And then she just, from now then on, she's made her car payment, but she just bought a new car and she was able to um, earn enough income that very first month hitting success club 12 hitting Emerald. Wow. Her first month that she joined. So, and just all she did was just talk about what, what was going on in her world. And that sometimes that's a little easier when you've never shared anything on social media and everyone has never her whole world. No one has really heard about it. Right. She had an untapped market. And so sometimes we, we can try to compare our story to someone else's not the same. So don't do that, but just know that it's really cool to see her just go for it and step out of her comfort zone. And she doesn't even act like she has any fear. So I just wanted to shout her out. And then my mom, Team mom, that's where I, why I put you right here. She has <laughs> success club five, which is six, but hitting success club five for the very first time she's hit four. She's even hit six and someone returned it. So she has been so close to hitting success club five and woohoo, super. Did it. You did it. You did it. <laughs> All right. And of course, I might have to minimize this just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we're going to talk about, um, running effective challenge groups, especially since I'm, I'm running these with other coaches. I have six other people helping me run the healthy plus obsessed group. I have six other people helping me run fat is fuel. Fat is your friend. And now fat fellowship. <laughs> Can we add any more? And when we run free groups, I normally run free groups with two or three other people. So I wanted to just me personally, this is a personal team call to me because I personally want to step my game up as a coach. All right. Because I want to be the leader and set the example. And I want to show you guys things that I want to improve on. I'm not saying that I do great at this and you guys all suck at this. That's not what I'm trying to say. I say <laughs> as collectively as a team, I want us to rock our challenge groups because I was telling my mom, the heart of our business is challenge groups. We have nothing yeah. if we cannot get them in a group and help them get results. If we can't right. make them feel better in their skin, there's, there's just no point to what we do if we can't run effective challenge groups. Now, right. so we're gonna be quiet and, and people <coughs> fall off and that's not our fault, especially if we just go into this saying, let's give this all we've got. I'll be honest with you, if Angel's still on here because I can't see that side of the screen, Angel has really inspired me to step up my challenge groups. I'm in her challenge group. She's helping run ours. And Wednesday, she brings it every single time. Tons of content, gives her all, pours her heart out. And, and she, you know, it just, she amazes me. So is she still on your mom? I don't, uh, let me see. I can't see that screen. Yes, she is. Okay. <laughs> Say hi, Angel. Oh, you embarrassed her. Oh, I'm here, girl. Oh. <laughs> the laundry is running behind me is so loud, but I'm, I'm in tears. So oh. thank you for that. That's amazing. Well, I'm humbled by all of you. So, well, thank you for helping <laughs> us. All right. So these are just some tips to, because we're moving into a new month, right? We're heading into a new month and this challenge group has already started. This is when I start planning and prepping my next challenge group. So we can start mm taking what I'm going to share with you and impl implementing it right away in this challenge group that we're running now. And I hope that you watch this replay um, because this is going to be, especially if you're helping me run groups or if even if you're doing your own, right. Um, but you have to pick a start date and that start date needs to be at least two weeks from now. So tonight after this team call, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to create my marketing plan. Hopefully my mom will still be free. If not, we're going to do it first thing in the morning, but we're going to create a marketing plan for April. Actually it's May. We're going to be creating the marketing plan for May during April, but we have to push it out. And so you have time to invite and promote and market it. So pick a date at least two weeks from now. Mine's going to be further than that, right? you have to pick a theme and set requirements. You have to invite every single day. And that invite does not always have to be a personal cold message to someone. That invite can be a breadcrumb into a post that you post on social media, talking about it, sharing pictures about it, um, share, creating an event for it, um, creating a top banner for your, your actual personal page or like page. So many different ways to start inviting and creating that, that theme that you cr created start marketing it and putting it out there way earlier. And I'm guilty about 
not marketing free groups. And so I'm going to apply what I'm talking about in a paid challenge group. I'm going to apply the same thing and ask you to do the same thing for free groups. But we have, we have to build relationships through those invites. Okay guys. So when we we're thinking about this big marketing plan and that's my, that's fun to me, like creating this challenge group, but the hard work is getting people into it. So if you can plan ahead early enough, and get the fun part out of the way, the creativity, the picture graphics and all that stuff. If you can get that done, you can use that for the hard stuff. The hard stuff is inviting. If you already have the group, it's like build it and they will come. If you already have all the fun stuff done, creating maybe a Google form for them to fill out, it's you have some place to put them and place them. If it's an event, um, you can use that event and post in that. They're like a prep group almost. Um, but this is a time for you to build relationships, whether that's through a free group, you can always invite to a free group first. It doesn't always have to be to a, the paid challenge group, but that's what you're doing leading up to the challenge group. That's why you're going to push that challenge group out at least two weeks. And I give myself almost a whole month to start planning that next group while I'm running one, I'm planning the next. Um, so we're going to build relationships and ask lots of questions and listen. It's almost like you're going to be a counselor to these people. And that's the hard, hard stuff, but that's the stuff that actually matters and makes a difference in them actually signing up with you or not. And we're going to recommend, right? That's the word. We're not going to sell to them. We're going to recommend to them based on their struggles. And you won't know what to recommend to them unless you know their struggles. My mom's getting really good at that. You want to use share a cart to enroll them and always lead with the challenge pack. A lot of people will say, well, here's all your options. One, it confuses them. And two, they'll always pick the cheapest, smallest thing and expect the same results that you're getting. We are getting these results, especially the 12 week beta test group people and high fat, low carb groups that we're doing. They're getting the results because they have all the recommended required tools. So be super confident in that and sharing that and challenge pack should be what you lead with. All right. Only add them after you see their order go through. And this serves two purposes. One, sometimes they back out and you don't want to have to remove them from the group. You don't, it feels really awkward. And two, this ensures that the order got placed through you. It can be a really big hassle after, I think it's 14 days. You have 14 days to get that order corrected. And if you just, they really place the order. They send you the order confirmation and you go in and you add them. You might've lost out on a sale because someone else, they placed the order, but it got under someone else. So always check your back office first, make sure you see their order go through. That way you can also help eliminate any problems. If you don't see it, maybe it didn't go through. And we, and I'm sure everyone's had some type of struggle with that. So um, we really, really do want to rock our challenge group. So the next thing I want us to think about is just getting better. We create the content, we have it in the documents, but we just don't want to copy paste. And I'm guilty of this too. This is where I want to step it up. I, I, I want these groups to get better and better. We have a guide now. We're not starting from scratch. So this is easier, but we don't want to just cookie cutter it. Now we have new people with new struggles and different personalities in each group. So we, I have copy pasted and it said 12 weeks. We're not running 12 week groups anymore. <laughs> it's six. And so like I have to personally pay more attention to the post. And also when we get to know these people, their, their problem might be a little different than the first group we were in. You know, we had a lot of people with diabetes, pre-diabetes in that 12 week beta test group. I felt like that was a, that's one of the things they spoke a lot about, but we might not have those same things thing going on with everyone and maybe just really people are str str struggling and thirsty and hungry for meal prep tips and maybe one week we just all go live and say here's my meal plan this is how I do it like you don't have to do it like everybody else but here's what's on it you know specifically um but uh, since we're in prep week and it's not too late to really think about this prep week really needs to lay out everything for them so double check that google drive that I created or Google doc that I created. And I told them, this is what we're going to go over during prep week. And so that we hit all those points. If you, you notice that no one else has done it, just take initiative and, and talk about goals. I think my mom brought that up today that the goals were talked about in week one. She's like, I really think that should be in prep week. And I was like, I think you're right. So maybe on Thursday, mom, if you want 
just take that post and whoever was scheduled to post it, maybe that was your week one, I don't know. But change that up if you need to. Um, and so that way we can meet the needs of the group and make sure that everything's in week one when it needs, or in prep week, everything's in prep week. And also I wanna collect whys and goals. This is something that I, I heard today in a, in a team call that I was listening to. And what they do is they create a commitment letter, they have them print and sign it, but they also ask them to fill out a Google form with their why and their goals. And then if that's your customer, that your client, we print them off. And so that way when they go quiet or silent, we can go back in and check on them. And we can relay that back to their goals. Hey, you've been really quiet, but I, I know that you know you really struggle with um, going out in summer, out in the summer, and having fun. And I know you're really wanting to feel more confident in, in shorts because we know that because that it was on their goal sheet. So I really want to be able to do that and check in with them like that. Teach, teach, and then oh, and the goal setting thing. If my mom decides to, to post on that, or anybody decides to make sure that that's posted in prep week, teach them to focus <laughs> on what. I need to do this week. Weekly goals, set small weekly goals. And I think, and I meant to, to read this or watch your um, video, Angel, today. I meant to watch it before tonight's call. And I just had not had a chance to get to it with homeschooling and, and preparing for this team call, I didn't get to it. But I really loved how she did a video, a live video introducing herself and shared her content, and then she also referred back to something else, and she used a video that was already there. Not that it was mine, but she used she's repurposing content, which is so smart. And my mom's doing the same thing. On her day on Saturday, she's going live, and she's gonna talk about what she's gonna post about, so they have that expectation of what to, put, what to see in the group, but she's also saying in the comments below, or in the comments above, there's two links. Two different ways to make Shakeology. I'm showing you how to make one thick and frothy, and, and my daughter's got another video, and she's making hers a little bit thinner. You can make your Shakeology. And so her Saturday is Shakeology, but she's sharing content, repurposing videos from other groups. All right, so teach them, and that was the main thing, is just teach them to focus on one week at a time when you're talking to them. If you go live, and that's what we wanted to start doing in these next few groups, is daily go live, even if it's just two minutes. Um, say something, Janice. Yes. When you were talking about the, like our challengers putting in their goals and their whys, mm -hmm. I think another good reason to have that is like each, per, each coach has those goals and whys for each of their challengers, because at the end of the week, I think we ought to kind of like start really recognizing people or even maybe even throughout the week, you know, really recognizing like whatever they're accomplishing, you know what I mean? Just yeah. giving them, them that shout out, you know, yeah. and, and that to me would be like an encouragement too. Yes, and if absolutely. we know what their goals are, we can give them that shout out. Right. We know what they're working towards and we can kind of see during the week that they really did atta attach their actions to right. the goal. Right. Yes. And I, I think that's more being more personal and yes. more involved in what each of our challenge are actually doing, you that's know, right. rather than just, you know, I don't know, yep. just being more involved. And I really like what you said too about having that to go back and look at if they get quiet. Right. Yeah. Help to remind them, them, you know, help them reconnect with it. Yes. Yeah. Um, I also want to start doing a kickoff call Sunday night before day one. So since this is still prep week Sunday night, I know that is Melissa's day to post. So I'm hoping that she watches this video or I'll try to remind her or maybe even go in the, and I am working on the Google docs as a little side note, <laughs> but I am working on the Google docs. And I want to run some ideas by everybody. So maybe another power hour we can get together and, and throw some ideas together. I was thinking maybe that we can have a document with Monday's post, week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, so that all of mine are in one document and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays. So no matter who has that day, um, it's just all in one document. They don't have to go to week one, week two, week three to find their post. But that's just an idea I had. Um, and then right. that way I can, we can tweak them each individually. Like if we need to swap something out and we, I, for one, like the um, cheese thing, somehow <laughs> that, got, that got lost, right? And so my mom went in and typed in, don't forget to post about cheese next Monday, okay? <laughs> so it's <laughs> just as a reminder for me. Um, so those documents can be edited 
as we go through it. And if we think that something just doesn't apply, doesn't fit, and we really need that to be said or talked about on a certain day, then we can just highlight it in red to that person when they go to their, and, and that's why we need to be more engaged and more intentional with looking at our post before we just copy paste. And I'm guilty of that. So, um, so yeah, kickoff call Monday, Sunday night. And I think that we should promote it and create an event for it within the group and make sure that everybody knows that another human touch is jumping on a zoom call and maybe it can be a theme. Um, since it's week one, we could really talk about meal prep, like all the coaches, all seven of us that are free, jump on, have your meal plan already written out. And then after week one, Sunday, we should always ask them to share their meal plan, like a picture of it, but we have to start it. Like we yeah. have to set the example. So that leads me into, so I was, that first slide was more about, we can always improve and tweak on our challenge groups, right? And the second one here is be a rock star challenger yourself. My mom is a, an amazing example of being a rock star challenger. She has inspired me to be better at checking in and always taking pictures of my food because I've been doing this for a really long time. It can get really boring. Taking pictures of the same food that I eat every day. It's the same food. Like, I yep. <laughs> but you know, if I'm doing it, if I'm leading the way, if I'm setting the example, and that's really what I want to do. I want to fall back in love with being a challenger first. And right. I want you to fall back in love with being a challenger first. So double check your posts. Don't just copy paste. Um, always comment and engage on everyone's posts. This is something I fail at. So I'm going to you do an amazing job at that, Janice. <sighs> you are always, to me, in my opinion, you are always spot on. You are always in there commenting on stuff. And so is Angel. Yeah. And, I'm, and I know there's other ones too, but I really noticed you two are really consistent with commenting on people's posts. And I want to get better because, um, you know, it's easy to be like, great job, good job. But really reading, like sometimes I don't always have the time or make the time to really read and engage. Right. And sometimes I go back and reread. I'm like, oh, I probably should have added something. She seems kind of upset, depressed, or down. That, that post was an, an actual cry out for help. You could tell. Right. And I missed it. So... I think what I'm going to do is set a timer on my phone at a certain time of day when that timer goes off later in the evening, obviously, because I want to, everyone to have already posted, but really go back through making sure that I'm liking and loving each post, but also commenting when really necessary, because right. then what that does is it encourages them to keep doing it. Right. And, and sincerely reading their posts, you know, if they took the time to write it. We need to read them. Right. And, and we're always talking about trying to get engagement. We have got to make sure that um, we are encouraging the right behaviors and right. We're encouraging those behaviors by commenting under them. They'll know that we're reading them and it'll encourage them to actually post more because they know they're going to get a response or an encouragement right. or, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And so I really want you, us, I want us. Um, if there's seven of us now, whenever there was just me, and a couple challengers that were super, like super nice and kind, and they would go in. But when it was just <laughs> me, it was really hard to keep up with posts, right? Right. Seven of us. There should be, it was should be puking in encouragement. It just <laughs> vomit everywhere. Like everyone is just like so positive and so outgoing. And when you know, or if you're struggling, it's okay to talk about that too. So get let us have an opportunity to build you up as a challenger, be a real challenger. And when you're really struggling, allow us to come and encourage you and show everyone else in the challenge group what it looks like to struggle mm -hmm. and, ha and have people encourage you. And, and you, like, say maybe you're out somewhere and you're about to eat, like it, there's just junk everywhere. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is so tempting. This is so hard. Can you, you know, whatever, you know what yeah. I mean? An encouraging word. <laughs> Tell me, smack it out of my hand virtually. <laughs> Um, just and be, every, real. Yes, be real. Yeah. Yeah. And every Sunday, share your meal plan and encourage others to do the same. I got ahead of myself there. And then what do we do when people get quiet? And that was, um, some things that I wanted to go back to, um, group support message chats. That's one thing that Hannah has. I've always put people in group chats. I've already created one for the girls in my group. I was going to ask my mom if, um, I reached out to Shannon. She hasn't responded back, but I was thinking, mom, the people that you have already invited that are in your group, also adding Shannon to yours and me. And then I could be in two groups 
And then, um, Angel, I know you have a gentleman that's in the group, and I do too. If there's any other men, maybe we can partner them up. And just make sure that everyone is kind of in a group chat. I always ask for permission. I send them a little voice chat, and I say, hey, I really think it's more beneficial when we have like these little small success pockets or accountability pockets. I call mine a fellowship, um, a fellowship chat. And so I say, you know, it's just other girls from the same group that you're in on having the same goals, eating, doing the same meal plan, you know, and then that way throughout the day, it's just a little easier to ask questions because the big group, the real goal of the big group is to check in and be educated. And so sometimes you need like that instant chat back and forth. So you feel like one of your challenges are really quiet. Maybe ask them if being plugged into a group chat would be beneficial. And I would be more than happy to be in anybody's group chat if you need that because you don't feel confident running it by yourself just yet. Cause it does get a little bit more intimate in there, <laughs> especially yes. if you're interactive. Um, group support met. Okay. Yeah. So I said that make a habit to check in privately weekly. Um, so also schedule in your power hour once a week or twice a week, the specific days that you go in and check on them. And then they actually get real Like I do that for my, my coaches that are not always like my mom. I talk to her every day, so I don't do that with her, but <laughs> I have coaches that I always check in and it's on my monthly plan that no matter what type of coach they are, no matter if they're in my challenge group, no matter if they're on Shakeology, no matter if they just pay the 1595 a month, I make sure I go in and check with them at least twice a month. And they are always like, wow, I can't, you know, you're so amazing that you always check in with me, but it's scheduled, you know, and some people, and, and I'll have to be honest, a lot of times I check in with them just because they're on my mind and I'm, right. I just want to like something inside me the spirit's just telling me this person might need a, a word of encouragement. So there's other times I do it, but if you schedule it like you do within your power hour, maybe one day you don't send any new friend requests. You just really focus on your friends that you really have, <laughs> right? Um, post something random. So if your day you have three things that you're scheduled to post and you see that the engagement's quiet, do something fun. Like my mom was thinking about maybe doing like a funky fun Friday dance off, you know, an extra point in the Healthy Blessed Obsessed group for sharing a video below, posting a video, video below, you know, dancing, just getting your, you know, after your workout, just record your sweet, <laughs> funky fitness dance, whatever. <laughs> um, so stuff like that, or a fun plank challenge, something funny, a, po a random funny post, a water challenge. So just something different to change it up that maybe wasn't scheduled or planned, right? It's okay to do that. Um, maybe we could even do, uh, maybe not in the fat is fuel, but I was thinking in a healthy, blessed, obsessed group, and maybe Angel, this would work for your group as well, as a coach for the day. You just ask some random person to be the coach. Just post whatever you want. You can, you can, uh, um, this call that I was listening to, they said that one of the, they gave someone that they're like, you're the coach of the week. And she challenged the coach to do like 50 burpees or something crazy like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just completely changed it up and random, randomized it. And then the last thing on there is prizes and points. It's not something you have to do all the time, but if we feel like, it's just really quiet and we just really want to create some oomph in it, you know, because we want our challenge groups to be exciting. We want to be excited for our challenge groups and I love challenge groups, but I can get stagnant because I've been doing them every single month and I have got to find something to get it excited about. It's not just going to happen. You have to create the magic in these groups. Right. So those, those are the main points that I had. Last but not least, before I jump off of the recording here and then answer and we can chit chat among ourselves, um, just wanted to remind everybody about the trainings. You are not obligated. Um, but you are encouraged to, to jump in a training. My mom went through the new coach training that we started. There's a phase one and a phase two. And I'm going, it's about to come to an end. And I'm just going to start it over. I'm going to roll it right over. I'm going to do the exact same thing again. And so if you, we're not engaged in the first one, or if you're a new coach, just jump in. One post a day is all you have to look through, read through, and there's a few daily action steps and maybe a link to look at. Not every day has a link. Some of the beginning days have a little bit more to give you the content and tools that you're gonna need throughout the rest of it. But I highly encourage you to jump in there and take it at your own pace. Even if you can't do the daily post every day, maybe Angel was talking about this, choosing a day, say Wednesday is your day that you're going to go in and do 
all of the training videos and tasks for that day. It's not designed for that, but I'd way rather you do what works best for you. So if you have an extra hour someday out of the week, maybe Sunday nights are just your best night to just chill and relax and you want to scroll through them, even if you're just reading them, guys, it's better to at least be filing this information up there and ha know that you can find it there, right? You know where it is because you read it there. At least you are I know it's in the training group and I'll go find it. And I've tried to use hashtags. So that way you'd be like, Oh, objections. I need, there were some really good scripts on objections. I'm having objections right now. I'm going to go into the group and I'm going to hash, use the hashtag objections, search for it. And that, that post should come up for you. All of them, any of them that relate to objections should come up. Then there's the Emerald training and it. I think that it has 15 days. So I think it has like three or four more days left. And then last but not least, the diamond code. If you're an emerald or above or been, or if you have been asked by me to, to join that group, because I know you could rock this, um, you've been a coach long enough. And if you're just ready to run, diamond code is $20. And we get the privilege of working with two top coaches, two amazing top coaches, Melissa McAllister, our, sister, our, our grandma um, upline, and then her really good friend, Danielle Natoni. So if you guys need any more information about any of those trainings, I just wanted to make sure that you knew that I'm here to help you grow in any way you need. And so if anything, jump back into a challenge group and be a best challenger. If at anything, make sure that you're bringing proof that the products work and um, take care of you. If that's what you need to do right now, if that's and those trainings, they are really a blessing. They are a true blessing because you know, you, the old coach thing where you went through it, that stuff was everywhere. It was hard to find stuff. And then going through these right here, the, the Emerald and then the new coach thing, those were so awesome because everything was right there. Yeah. And things that I, you know, like things that you just don't think about, you, you take off running with your business and everything's and you, you forget about these things and you go back and say, Oh yes, it's like an aha moment, you know? And it also helps with, I know there was a lot of times I was always asking you, Janice, what about this? Janice, what about that? And I know I still do it, but then I'm like, wait a minute. I just read about that. I just did that in that coach, the coach basic thing. And so it's like, I can do it myself. You know, it's being able to do it yourself. <laughs> I know it's so amazing. <laughs> Instead well, of having to go to somebody, it feels good to know it yourself. Right. Absolutely. And you know, I've been that coach that I loved being my hand held. I loved my hand being held. I love <laughs> I love holding everyone else's hand, but that does not empower you and equip you because what if I'm not there to answer your question? You're going to freak out. I really want you to know where to go and feel confident finding that content and that information. And so, you know, I, I don't mind. This is what I do full time. I don't mind it, but I've also heard it over and over again because I do personal development every day that. I have got to teach you how to fish. <laughs> Can't keep <laughs> handing you the fish, right? right. And, and so that is going to make you a way better leader. And I've been holding people back by holding their hand. And I think I'm it feels good. I, yeah, it feels really good. Yeah. And it, it, if you, I personally feel that I'm helping, but I'm really enabling you to never step up and really know your full potential. So, and right. I know that because Melissa did it for me. She did the same thing for me. I'm like, don't push me out of the nest. You know? Like, ah, ah. And then I'm like, oh, I'm fine. I can do this. I know. It was amazing. It's an amazing feeling. And I want each and every one of you to feel that. And so that's, and that's what I love. I love those. I love the trainings, you know, and I, and I know I've had a little bit of trouble getting into them here recently, but it doesn't mean I'm not reading them because I am going through them and reading them and doing the videos with it. And I'm, I'm like, I know I want to push my business forward. But you can't push your business forward if you don't do the steps, you know, so it's like I'm taking that time. I am taking that time. I'm slowing down enough to go back and do all that training. I may not get my post done and stuff like that, but I'm reading all that. And it's so nice. Like I know there was a couple of times I'm like, Janice, I've got a customer that wants to do this or whatever. I'm typing it to you. And I'm like, and she's not answering. She's not answering me. Oh, crap. <laughs> And then it's like, wait a minute, I've got the answer. I know the answer. I just read that in, in the training group. It's like, I can do this. And then I'm like, never mind, I got it. <laughs> and it's a good feeling, you know, because you feel like you're accomplishing something. You're not just, I don't know. I love you it. Just, it feels right. good. 
Well, I'm going to end the recording real quick because we have a minute left and then we can jump back on. But thank you guys so much. Um, if you have any questions specifically about this call, let me know and I'll get this recorded and posted in the team page. Talk to you soon. Bye.